So I will say when you get Pringles, you never get a fold over Pringle. So let's My see how- My favorite chips are folded over. Right? The favorite chips are fold over chips. I wonder how a fold over Pringle is. Ready? Mm -hmm. Bon Appetit made a video the other day making gourmet style Pringles. And we want to see if we can recreate Pringles at the house. Yeah. It'd be kind of fun, huh? Yeah. So there's the regular Pringles, which everybody should know and love. But they're not that good for you. And then we found a local, our local grocery store has a better brand. I don't know, it's a healthy option of Pringles. But they're not the same. They're a lot thicker. And they chew, like where a regular Pringle like dissolves. So we're curious to see if you can really make Pringles at your house and if they're any good. I'm gonna put a link right here to the Bon Appetit video that has the recipe. The recipe calls for potato flour, rice flour, cornstarch, salt, and water. We're gonna start with that. That's it? That's it. Yeah, it's crazy. Supposedly it's a really simple recipe. So let's try it and see. Ten grams of rice flour. Ten grams. It's nine. It's not that much, is it? No. Nope. And then ten grams of cornstarch. Thirty-five grams of water. So it costs for. I just put on. I'll let it rest for fifteen minutes. You ready to roll this out and try to make some Pringles? Yes. So we gotta roll it on the biggest setting two times. I don't know, I don't feel like we're getting the right texture. No, that is the texture that you had. Is it? Yes, it is. No, you also have to fold it, you have to keep folding. You have to fold it first. And then We're over here all excited to have Pringles and Tanner sleeping. Oh, we woke him. You're not all excited about the Pringles, Tanner? He says, nope, you're not gonna share them with me anyways.
texture is definitely changing. So still rough, but it's a lot smoother. They smell like Pringles. Yes, they do. Try that. That works good. Does that work good? Let's see if the oil is the temp. 301, perfect. Snap it and see what happens. Ooh, it's got a good crisp. It does dissolve in your mouth. Does it dissolve in your mouth like a Pringle? It has a really thin texture. It tastes like Pringle. No way. Yeah, when you get to the end, it tastes like a Pringle. What do you think, Gina? I haven't had a Pringle for a while, but I think it tastes like Pringle. It reminds me of the look of a Muncho. What's that? Is that what it's called? Muncho or something. We'll have to look it up against the M. Let's see. How can you get the big piece? You girls broke it all off. <laughs> That's yeah. really good. Hold on a minute. I need like a couple. You said you haven't had a Pringle in a while, so you don't know what to go off of. I don't want to hold. I think if anything, it has more oil in it mm -hmm. that we're using. And this has a little bit more salt. These are saltier. These have more flavor. Yeah, I think that's more flavor. Let's fry some more up and... Those ones are better though. I'm gonna get a bunch of them. Whoa! This is awesome. <laughs> I thought it was ruined. No, that's what they've been doing. It looks like it's ruining and then it opens up. Yeah. That one's huge. I want to eat that one. That's, That's one of the big ones you yeah. made. I'm eat that this one. made me want crab rangoons. <laughs> <laughs> right? It looks like a crab rangoon when it curls up like that. That's why I like think that. that's why I felt like that. I think so. So I will say when you get Pringles, you never get a fold over Pringle. So let's My see how- My favorite chips are folded over chips. Right? The favorite chips are fold over chips. I wonder how a fold over Pringle is. Ready? Mm -hmm. Got good crunch. Mm. They taste really good. They taste pretty close to a Pringle. I wonder if you could air fry them, like you said, if you air fried them, if it would be a bit more of a Pringle. It's not juicy, they're oily. But they are good. But they are I really like good. Them more. We like these better than Pringle. Oh, hold on. What? So, this is the other Pringle type you can find in the store. It's called the Good Crisp Company. Let's see what you think. Of that compared to the homemade Pringles. 
They don't have any flavor. They don't have flavor. They're thick though and they're hard. Like they don't dissolve. They're a weird, weird texture compared to a Pringle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where this matches that texture better. It has more flavor. Okay, Pringle. What? No. no. That doesn't really have any flavor compared no. to those. These are going to be gone in no time. Yeah. Don't look at mine. It doesn't look as good as yours. Yours aren't coming it, out as nice. Got hooked together. I got crazy. I got oh, they're still going to yeah. taste just as good. Mm, not oh, do you think you want some Pringles? They're both sleeping. I'm making noodles. Yeah. I'm making Pringle potato sticks. How's your Pringle stick? Mm. Better than a Pringle? It warmed up the other day to 40 and we got about two inches of rain and then it got into the single digits. So now we got ice everywhere. I got my ice cleats on so it's gonna be noisy walking. You know what else happens when you have snow banks that get rained on and turn to ice? You goats like to climb them. <sighs> I brought my camera out with me the other day. I don't know how much footage I got. But if I get some good footage, I'll put it right here. But the goats were climbing up the snow banks and out of the pen. Oh, crazy goats. I had to fix that yesterday. So I dug out the snow banks a little bit more and they can't climb them now. Hi, huh, girls. Oops, you are right there, Blossom. So it rained and then it froze up. And that causes problem for walking, but it also causes and turns our snow banks into ramps for our goats to climb out of the goat pen. Oh, she's back in. It at least looked like from the house Blossom was standing right here. Yeah, see if they can climb up. And now they have... <sighs> now they can get out, uh-oh. At least the goats have room to run now. Oh, and slip, I guess. You want some more hay, Buttercup? Get them their afternoon snack. Are you ready, Willow? You pregnant? I hope so. Watch out, I don't want to step on you girls. I got ice picks on. Oh, that's my shirt. Is that good? Buttercup. They just broke the feeder. I don't know how, but now Buttercup can get in there again. <sighs> Guess I'm gonna have to fix that. Goats love to get into mischief. Watch out. But then again, that's what keeps them entertaining. If you had a cow, I wouldn't be doing all that fun stuff. Are you ready, Pluto? We gotta go to New York City. Come on.
Come on, Pluto, this way. I hope the girls laid us a good amount of eggs today. What are you up to, Moose? Ladies. Uh-oh, you're slacking. I'm only seeing three eggs. Yeah. You waiting for me, Pluto? Come on. I'll let you in. <sighs> Time to bring in some more firewood. These eggs are pretty cold. We had a viewer send up a digital thermometer, laser one. Let's see how cold the eggs are. 40 degrees, 38, 40. I guess is if these would have stayed out in the chicken coop for another hour or two, they would have been frozen. Gotta bring the wild beast out to go to the bathroom. What are you doing, wild man? How are you gonna pee on a snowball? Oh, good boy. Good boy peeing on a snowball. Yeah, good boy. And you can walk on snow banks and look just up the top of your roof. You know you've gotten a lot of snow for the winter. warmed up for a couple of days now it's gonna get cold again and below zero at night I think tomorrow night oh. we're in the thick of winter still <clears throat> so I called our local large vet the other day about getting willow ultrasound to see if she's pregnant and how many kids she has they said they can do it, but it's gotta be an internal ultrasound. This time of the year, their hair or their coats are too thick, so they can't do a regular ultrasound. So I just got I gotta decide if that's something we want to do or not. What are your thoughts on that? It would be nice to have the ultrasound to find out if she's pregnant and then find out how many kids she's having. I'm also thinking about putting a camera in the goat on so when it gets closer to her due date, we can keep an eye on her from the house. Would, it, would you be interested in it if I live streamed it? I'm trying to figure that all out now so I know what kind of camera to get and what I need to do to the barn 
so we can get power down there for the camera and if we're going to live stream it what we need for internet cables down there. Jesus! There we go. I'm gonna go stack this wood. I'll be right back after that. There, we got that all stacked up. I got the icicles. There's a couple of little things off the list that we needed to do. It always feels good when you can check stuff off your lists. Sitting back editing this video, it's fun watching us trying to make Pringles something that we thought, I never thought I'd be able to make in our home kitchen. But it's even more fun sitting back and looking at the memories we're making. It's not always about what we're doing. It's more about who we're doing it with and what fun we're having. Trying something out of the box, getting in the kitchen, playing around, having fun with something we need to do three times a day, which is eating. We might as well make it a joy, and it should be. It's even more fun to get in there with friends and family and just make great memories. I hope we can encourage you to get into your kitchen and start trying something new and just having fun, goofing around, making something delicious, and then just, just enjoying it with friends and family. Thanks guys for coming along on our journey with us. Today's video was a little bit different, but all in all, we had a good time and that's what it's all about. So thanks for being here and we'll see you guys right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.